Good morning, America. How are you? Monday morning rail. Hi, I'm Denny Yelswa, and I'm at the world famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. And today is Monday, and we all know what we do on Monday. It's show and tell at the Terminal Railroad Museum. And today's show and tell, I have with us our Secretary Treasurer of the Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum, Phil Smith. And Phil is going to help me explain what we have for show and tell today. Thank you, Danny. Um, can you give us uh, the idea behind selecting this particular train for show and tell today? Well, as you can see, this is the Chicago Northwestern uh, uh, pasture train and you know you say hey this is the Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum why is the Chicago Northwestern train here well very simple our club is very diverse we have a lot of members that are from all over the United States and just like yourself you were born and raised in St. Augustine your dad was an executive with the Florida East Coast he was the head freight agent and so you could run Florida East Coast trains and you'd be just as happy as ever. And same thing with Rodney Butcher, our president, he worked 44 years. But then we have myself, well, I'm a member, just like you are, of the uh, Florida East Coast Railroad Society. And I've been here 50 years, but I was raised in the cornfields of Iowa. And I remember vividly the different trains. And we have members from all over. We have members from California, we have members from Pennsylvania. And so on Monday, they could run their favorite trains. And that's what makes this museum so unique. We run accurate trains on Friday, and that's our scheduled time, but then on Monday, and then whenever a member wants to come, they could come and run their trains. Tell us a little more about this train. What is the significance of the 400 that's in the title? Well, the Chicago Northwestern named their trains 400. It was like the Minnesota 400, uh, the Dakota 400. Uh, this here is the King Corn 400. And the 400 meant that it ran 400 miles in 400 minutes. In other words, they averaged 60 miles an hour, and that was their advertising, and that's what, and they did run very fast trains. This train ran from Chicago to Omaha, and it was originated in 1953. 1953, the president of the Union Pacific and the president of the Chicago Northwestern got into a little skiff over Chicago Northwestern's maintenance. And so the Union Pacific switched all of its trains over to the Milwaukee and the Chicago Northwestern was a little upset over that. So they instituted three trains between Chicago and Omaha. And this particular train was called the King Corn 400 because naturally you're going through the cornfields of Iowa. Right. And so uh, I m remember vividly as a child seeing all the different trains that went across Iowa. And this is a beautiful rendition of the King Corn 400. These cars are all brass and uh, totally detailed. They, all, they are the old style nickel plate, but with high detail. And uh, the engines are uh, Broadway. Well, I, I know we're getting close on time, but I do want to ask one more question. I think uh, listeners might be interested in. Tell us about this unique observation car that apparently only the Chicago Northwestern had. Yeah, the Chicago Northwestern uh, had uh, these observation cars on all of their 400s. And it was just very unique, distinct. And on the back, it said the 400. And so that way they could flip it to the uh, different 400 trains. It wasn't exactly a sign. And uh, uh, it was just a very unique car, and it was a very n nice, relaxing car for the sleeping passengers, uh, like a lounge car and that. And uh, it's just very, very, very unique. And so that kind of tells about the Chicago Northwestern King Corn 
400. And Phil Smith and myself, that's what we have for show and tell today. And once again, we're at the Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. And it's Monday morning show and tell.